Good afternoon, everybody. We're back with yet another group stage tournament match. I have the Twitch restream up, so I just got completely bamboozled by my own voice. I'm Bash Prime. Once again, not knowing what I'm doing here on commentary. Maybe. Perhaps. Uh, I'm joined by uh, Randomizer Legend. My own bracket demon, Baja Blood. How are you doing? Too bad. I'm looking forward to this one. This this is going to be a really interesting matchup. Honestly, I think one of the closest um, seed kind of layout. That's not the correct way to say this, what I'm trying to communicate. But these two teams were seated literally next to each other. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and so I think this will be a really close, really interesting match. Uh, I want to bring up the bracket because I think both teams have already played some matches. So we can actually get a little bit of history regarding to how this has been going for them so far. Um, so I have I, I watched Slugland and Ray Shy play yesterday, and I believe they defeated Team Xenocal in a uh, relatively close match. Um, I, I actually have not... I don't believe I've seen either of them play in tournament before. Not that they haven't, but just that I haven't really noticed. And uh, yeah, they're skilled. They have the randomizer experience under their belt. Ray Shy like, was going for stuff like... Yeah, I, I was in a similar yeah. role where I don't really think I've seen uh, either of them racing before, but like, Ray Shy might have the best Echoist movement out of anyone in the tournament. It's uh, scary. Like, it's, he's very like, have good. I not, have um, I not noticed them like uh, speedrun the game or something? Like, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. All right, I'm going to be sending the runners live here. Cool. So we should catch up in just a minute. Oh, I think we need to switch the layout too. Do you want me to do that or? Um. Uh... Oh, never mind. Someone did it for us. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. Well done, Baja. I'm assuming. Uh, no, that was not me. That was probably. Uh, it was our, our setup uh, help, Sam. Thank the you. great. <laughs> Let's go on here. The great tournament admin in the sky. But yeah, we got Team Orange Cats comprising of Slugland and Rayshai on the left versus Aether Tablet, which is Elias Thompson and Audraxis on the right. Now, Elias and Audraxis have a pretty considerable amount of tournament experience. They have been around in the community for some time. Audraxis, I believe, won the most recent Super Metroid randomizer tournament that was hosted here, if memory serves right. Um, so she has a uh, pretty good like plethora of, uh, of rando knowledge. Um, across a multitude of the games. I think she's done, like, SMZ3, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Audra has probably done more <laughs> random racing than pretty much anyone in this community. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, that'll be... That's kind of the interesting thing here is we'll see, you know, the a 3 I think, definitely has the advantage on kind of familiarity with rando and rando racing um, and even having played CGC before uh, versus... Um, the probably superior execution on, on Team Orange Cat's side. So we'll see how uh, see how that plays out today. We do not have any racers agreements this time, which is a breath of fresh air considering that <laughs> Ray Shine Slugland agreed to uh, was it Prime not having item models or uh, like a text to show you what item you got. You just have to see the tracker, which is uh, pretty nuts. Ooh, there was something in Hive Chamber B, a grapple beam. We have two grapples and echoes. Okay, interesting. And then I guess one more match note kind of here. So, yeah, Team Orange Cats are sitting at 2-0 and already in the, wow. in the group. So they are pretty comfortable here. Aether Tablet is 1-2. and two. Uh, Now, Aether Tablet has already played the 1 and 2 seeds from this group. Uh, mm -hmm. So they've definitely been uh, starting out with the tougher matches. But... Gee, I wonder who one of those players was. <laughs> I know, what a, what a terrible, terrible person. Um, but, you know, Aether Tablet coming in as the fourth seed, three teams from each group advance. So you're kind you gotta upset somebody if you want to get in. And uh, mm -hmm. this is kind of the last chance here. Find an upset against Team Orange Cats or, uh, at that point with three losses, it probably starts to look pretty hard to get into the, uh, into the bracket stage. Yeah. As it, tur as it turns out, Group C is just chock full of talent. You have, yeah. uh, Team Check the Tree, which won last year's, uh, Cross game tournament and swept the two solo tournaments afterwards. That's uh, Sexion and Cosmonaut, and then you have Team Orange versus Green, which is yourself and uh, the Ginger Chris, who uh, did you get third in cross or four, was it third or fourth in cross game? Like top, like top five, easily. Yeah, I forget if we were tied for fifth or fourth. We somewhere around there. 
I mean, you beat me. Uh, the plot matters. armor has been strong so far this tournament for us. Ooh, main PB's already four echoes on Alpha's planet. That would have been nice to have a, a moment ago to speed up this fight, but. Oh, wow. Yeah. Does give you some running options poetry. here. Um, Once again, Renovania is self aware, and you cannot tell me that it's not. <laughs> so, yeah, we have the option to uh, head towards Aegon, or we can stay in Temple Grounds. I would be pretty tempted to head over to GFMC when I get a, a power bomb this early. So if you've tuned in to the like previous uh, tournament or even like solo weeklies, um, this is mostly the same in terms of like what the expected logic is. You have some tricks set to the beginner level, so stuff like uh, being expected to like I think it's like NSJ cross like the gap in like mining plazas like climb um, with like screw attack, uh, little quirks like that. Um, the big difference is that uh, every player starts with missiles. So that's going to make the early game a lot more consistent. So you're always, almost always going to see the uh, artifact temple play, which I had not been paying attention to. So whatever the artifacts are, <laughs> I yeah, am I uh, I don't think I'm not doing my duty here. Them yet, um, which makes sense. It, it's a little slow to read them. You know, you know, you don't want to necessarily. You often, as the prime player, have some opportunity while you are logically incapable of doing anything to just read the hints. Then, ooh, um, SJ for prime in the bottom of the cave of roots yeah. see if uh, either or both of them immediately try to take that to root cave and or arbor chamber the arbor chamber roll curl is a bit more dangerous without morphin bombs to bail you out if you make a mistake but it is still possible get those two checks out of the way not isolate them here well, elias is going to go for it and already a little bit of rat divergence here on the Echo side, so it looked like Reishai grabbed Dynamo Chamber, but then turned around and is heading towards Aegon, whereas Audra is going to proceed all the way to JFMC. It's yeah, a JFMC... for Elias. That could be important. Uh, With power bombs, like... I'm a little, yeah, I'm a little surprised because JFMC is, is open. It is in logic with power bombs. So the mm -hmm. crate could have uh, something early in logic here. Yep, and with power bombs locking all this stuff, um, you know, it is in a later sphere, which makes it so... Okay, well, there's a oh, power bomb in there, so... <laughs> All right. You get a PB, no matter how you're at, I guess. Ranavania. Oh, oh, that was an Emerald Translator, was it? Was it exactly or up to, but four rooms away from the Wave Beam? Wait, so, you know, that... Waves and Echoes. Wait, what? That was, what, Plasma at the top of Root Cave and then Morph Ball in Armor Chamber? Is that what happened? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <I'm>, what? <laughs> what the uh... heck? Goose ball. Goose ball in the crate. Holy Goose cow. Ball in the, oh my. What is. I'm, I have so much stuff to. Yeah, that's plasma. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's. <laughs> that's the moments that's so I'm... huge, and both prime players went for it. That's awesome. <laughs> I love These seeing that. That's where I am very grateful for the random idea auto tracker, because my hands would have been in a mm. flurry here <laughs> trying to keep track of Yeah, hold on, hold on. Very good. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that came through. I think I might have the audio uh, uh, noise suppression on. Slamming my keyboard. Dang it! Can't do comedy today, folks. I'm Looks sorry. Like, yeah, I'm just going for the scan dash try. This is this is old school. Mm -hmm. Back from mm -hmm. when we had the. Uh, uh, oh, so the site starts. So that Let's high jumper B grapple is probably primes, and then we just need to know where. Uh, whoa, wave beam already! What the heck? What, what is going on? <laughs> so wave beam mining station access. Um... So we have emerald in Aegon somewhere. I mean, I guess it's not too surprising, but. Yeah, could early be, Emerald like, could be a mischief coming up here on Otter's side. Could be valuable. And indeed it is. The main PVs for Prime. All right. Oh my goodness. PVs everywhere. everywhere. I have so much stuff to type down. <laughs> Crab and the Grapple Edge. Okay, so that's already it. So much early stuff here. And an X-Ray. I mean, I guess, yeah, X-Ray uh, and X Grapple have to be really soon here for Prime, given mm -hmm. that they're locking more. Ball. Was that the locked door for X-Ray? Uh, yeah, Vault Ledge. Okay, so yeah, Grab and X-Ray both space jump locked in main plaza, which makes sense because then that lets you go get yep. your plasma. Okay, I'm just going to put the grapple for Prime in Hive Chamber B because like, there's no way it isn't, I think. It's in logic now, uh, our bombs. Oh, I see, I see. It was hinted, but neither Echo's players got it yet because, mm -hmm. like, why? Why even? Like, you have power bombs, just do Aegon first. Oh, then again, we're already seeing, uh, uh, we're already seeing the warp back to Great Temple, so from Audraxis, at least. So let's see. So what's There's the so kind of net stuff. of this Temple Grounds play? So Audra, we know they they get to know the main PB logic, um, and they have this boost ball. They have um, two beams already. Yeah. 
um, <laughs> versus, yeah, they're going to be a bit later to the wave. Oh my god, here's a light beam. <laughs> Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see, just see Prime doing a ton of work here today? Like goodness. Uh, oh the seed's goodness. not sub hour. Then uh, maybe yeah, maybe I finally Randovania will have a oh little bit of chill. <laughs> Holy cow! Dark beam in your try to. <laughs> okay. Oh my sure. god! Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a life support system and a curse lake. I missed that on Reishai's side earlier. Oh my goodness. This is... This is insane. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Echoes just need space jump. <laughs> they have boost ball already. I can't remember where boost was. It was just somewhere. Uh, boost was in the GFMC crate, I believe. Oh, the crate. You're right. You're right. Thank you. I'm right here. All right. I think I am caught up. I hope I am. Emerald's near Wave, and Wave was what mining station access. So where does that make Emerald? Uh, if it was up to center? four, it could be in like, it could be yeah. like in Central Mining Station. Yeah, there's actually um, quite a few possibilities. We, I mean, that dark and light beam actually kind of seems a little sus suspicious in that regard. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, let's see. I think it could be like in Transport Center. Like four rooms is uh, quite a bit of distance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very interesting seed. So, like, the seed could end up being a bit logically bottlenecked by, like, a Varia suit not showing up. Mm -hmm. But, you know, with once that once the wave comes in and maybe we get one E-Tank, it's fairly easy to uh, to cross through Twin Fires and get into mm -hmm. back of Fendrana that way. I'm and sorry. Would... Sorry, good. The KRAR in chat said that there was, like, I, I missed this race. There was a PCA space jump? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Echo's Bombs already. Wow. Yeah. All right, beautiful. I have Totem coming in clutch. Yeah, you gotta be like this, what I, the like, heck is oh going my goodness. on? <laughs> it's just so fast. We're nine minutes in. Look how many items they have. They have oh, Primus Gravity Suit somehow. Where'd that come from? <laughs> I didn't even notice. Grav was main plaza. One of, I think oh, okay, okay. One of the sense. ledges. Yeah. Uh, so... I, didn't, I think they checked the tree, but I don't know what the tree has. So This is a big check coming up here on Reishai's side. I don't think Otter is going to be here anytime soon. So if this is something big, yeah. that could be big. Nope. Oh. Because, yeah, it I mean, like... Otter, with both being... I mean, I guess we're not a space jump, so maybe we do kind of get forced out of Aegon soon here, but... Um... um, I mean, Audra has bombs. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think she'll eventually go for the cleanup, but just the usual way where you just do all as much stuff as Aegon, Aegon first. Hope they get space jump on the way, and then check the ship afterwards mm -hmm. <laughs> audra falling for the pause here yeah mm -hmm. this one this seems like a cutscene that you could skip but it sure isn't ah there's that grapple. yeah so, that yep. so there's that prime one grapple us. yeah that had that had to be the prime one grapple unless it was just like Ra randovania being like <laughs> <laughs> uh yes this is a baja seed yeah i am not a tournament admin so i uh i do not gen these seeds i can only uh provide the spirit you yeah, know the the color commentary mm. as it were you know what i'm doing it now because who knows when this race is ending follower runners they are doing amazing this is, i actually like pretty still pretty close but we'll see what happens if the echoes divergence ends up uh it's i mean it hasn't led to anything so far but like I think Orange Cats is ahead a little bit. We just saw the um, that dark and light beam on Elias's end. I mean, we're talking like a couple of minutes. This is the beginning. We have no SDKs, no artifacts yet. I don't think anyone's checked the artifact list yet. Really either so. Our worship check here from Ray. Ooh. Not really gonna be reasonable to pick this up right now. Is that? What's that? I mean, you're ten minutes in. It's good intel. Supers. That's available. Wait, what? Uh, yep, Prime Super's on Crosswind, but we have everything to go get that already. Wow. I did that's not a see beginner. What... That's a beginner thing, I think, to do the space jump stuff, because normally you need supers to climb the room, I think, to get the atom in Triglis. So that's cool. Also Crossway in the first 11 minutes. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> 
Oh wait, crossway or crossroads? Oh, crossroads. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. No, I did the same. I did the same thing last week, so it's fine. Yep. <laughs> um, I mean that could be important if uh, let's see, Elias. I think is heading back to main. Oh no, they're just doing. Uh, oh, okay. Here's that emerald. I think. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah. Ooh, we are. We are. That is one of the rooms. Uh, we're not going to crossroads. Interesting. Need uh need spider ball or screw it. Uh, I mean I guess you always need spider ball in beginner, but um Audra's want gonna want to see a screw attack. I guess either. You need both for well technically both for game completion. And Slugun going for the Varialist Strats, Suitless Magmor, taking all that sweet, sweet damage. Yeah, and Lava like to take double damage. It is mm. twice heated. SDK, all right. Take those. Nice, that 10 health drop. Yeah, actually. <laughs> another one, too. Another one? That's, that's, that's good enough. Oh my yeah, god, we needed wow. the both. Those mattered. You need... <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <clears throat> Nicely done there from Sluglin. Fantastic. Oh, the, the gravity suit helped a little bit with the 10%. Oh, true, yeah. I still, that still, the two mattered, because it's 9 damage per second instead of 8, or 10, mm -hmm. excuse me. All right, Echo's Ooh. first blood on their own E-Tank in yeah. Incash 4. I do very much prefer having one E-Tank here than zero. Uh, this area is, like, a little dicey, uh, especially if you get... Uh, there was a warrior artifact in... Is this Burn Dome? No. In Dynamo. I but Elias forced... Just like free. Oh. Elias Must forced to it. orphan Upper Dynamo because no spider. Mm -hmm. And that's always... Uh, that always leaves a nice bit of anxiety in Prime Player's uh, hearts, minds, soul. Do you have the choice now if we want to go soft like a Zoid? Um, can get both checks at least, but no bombs, no boost to get out. Oh, another E tank That's... for Echoes, nice. I think you do it. I, I like you just, it, it's open. Mm -hmm. Burn Dome is, a, I would say, a pretty common potential place to uh, do a point overturn. I mean, however, however often it has bombs for Prime anyway, so. Well, it's not interested. I don't know if Elias actually made it back to Tower of Light yet, so that could be on the top. Uh, right? I believe he did. He he oh. got Dark and Light Beam and then checked Tower. Gotcha. Or at least Tower Chamber, but I, I that was no way he would not have checked Tower of Light. Ah, Magma. We do have gravity to bail ourselves out if we uh, don't quite get the dash. Be curious if uh, if, it, if an ice Ooh, beam gets found. This strat, I love this strat. This is what I do because I suck at dashing. <laughs> Ooh, I did not see what he was on a uh, cursed lake. Nice uh, simultaneous heat runs for Magma Beautiful. Fool here. I don't even know what that. Okay, was it was a the key. <laughs> the HUD memo uh, got very deleted okay. by the uh, warning there. I uh, did not see TC. Key chamber, trading chamber. Uh, missile, prime missile looks like. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Ray, I getting their first E tank when Audra gets her third? <laughs> yeah, that is a nice. It's evening out a little start. bit here, but yeah, uh, both teams kind of tread in the ground. The other have mm -hmm. cleaned up. I think yeah, Orange Catch really... is a bit ahead on checks, but mm -hmm. at least Prime is a little bit ahead. Echo is, uh, let's see. Let's see, Raid didn't have bombs. Actually, no, I don't think they still have bombs. Oh, no, they got bombs. Okay, so, uh, or he got bombs. So, Aether Tablet has the Echo's check advantage, and then Orange Cats, I think, has the Prime check advantage. Yeah, I mean, Elias has already done, like, the Watery Hall area and stuff, too. Um... Just kind of like slightly different checks. Just hasn't mm -hmm. done like the the hell run. I think that's really the the main difference. 
Yeah, yeah so there, there is that STK difference. Thankfully, orphaning Lava Lake not going to be detrimental to early game for yeah. Wraith or Tablet. Oh, that looks like a Dark Visor in Mineshaft. Interesting. Uh, could we be seeing a Seekerless, Space Jumpless, or not Seekerless, just a Space Jumpless Boray into Sanctuary? Boy, you need Spider. Okay. You need Spider for that to be logical, I think. But I guess you could double bomb jump. Ah, I stand corrected. I think a double bomb jump would be more than adequate. All right, what does Zoid have? I did not even see what the tunnel was. Uh, oh, uh, it appears that... Oh, no, I, I was mistaken that for Thermal. My bad. Okay, there's that Artifact of Warrior for Sluglin. <laughs> Rich, I tried to scan that hint there, but unfortunately, no early Amber this seed, which is always really awkward. Mm -hmm. Having to kind of do the Aegon re-world tour later to get your hints is painful. Mm -hmm. I'm, I think we're probably going to be seeing a either supers or seekers soon for echoes because we have boost probably super uh, seekers. We have boost dark, dark uh, beam, light beam. Um, I think you might be expected to go into Torvis this way, and then Just potentially find Amber there. Simultaneous kills on the bomb guardians of the respective games for Amber beautiful. <laughs> Excellent. Shoot, I did not see I did not see what Zoid ended up having. Uh just missiles, I believe. Fair enough. So yeah, see how Elias chooses to uh, to route now. Um we can head over yeah. towards like Thardis. We kill Thardis and do the uh slope jump. We can get into the rest of Fen. It's a bit awkward of a fight without uh the bombs. Oh, maybe Echo Space Jumps in like Storage D. Almost saw the labs play. Or no, we are seeing the labs play right now. Yeah, oh, wait. Definitely some potential oh. of uh, even like a. No, Ray's going to go Dark World first. So Audra's going to go to labs soon because we had nowhere else to go outside of Temple Grounds cleanup. Mm -hmm. Curious to see if we see like a, a dip into Sank. We do. Hazen Cliff should be in logic. Oh, there's Varia. Oh, that was in Burn Dome. Oh. oh, wow, that's actually big. Gross. Um, okay. That's I so did not awkward. see that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Elias is probably wondering, like, am I supposed to mm. sit there and hope for bombs or boost to be next? Yeah. Because that saves you really having awkward. to do the fight again when the bombs show yeah. up. But, uh, <laughs> I love this because Slugun's going to be in the same exact position. They're going to have to reset. Yeah. Because uh, Raisha is not going to be anywhere near what Sluglin needs. No, yeah, there's no new checks that Raisha's <laughs> going to have access to that we haven't really seen like, on this side. Yeah, Pirate Labs is the... Oh, we have. I don't think we've seen a uh, Frigate Crash Site check yet, so this could be something big. Oh, yeah. Seven power bombs. <laughs> Seven Baja. Oh boy. NSJ Seven lab. power bombs, no bombs. <laughs> NSJ Spiderless Labs. So, like. This is like a PONR. Yeah. I mean, like, where else do you have to go, though? Like. Yeah, there's not much else, huh? Um. I guess, unless it's here or Hazencliff. <sighs> Although, no. Rage yeah. has already been to Venter AA, I believe. I think I remember. Some okay. Things. Theory crafting. Mm -hmm. You're expected to come in. Uh, well, let's see. Oh, because you can't do the. The, the whatchamacallit thing. Is the bomb jump to scan to open the the way to Central Mining Station a thing? Ooh, SDK uh, Mining no. Site. Okay. That is, that is intermediate. So, okay. So, you kind of have to get Spider then, or Space Jump here. Mm -hmm. Or both. And then from there, uh, maybe Amber too, and then that opens up like Halvon or Dead. But... I don't know. Maybe it's like maybe it's Echo Supers here, and you just have to. There needs to be something here. A, yeah. Uh, battleground to leave. I think there needs to be something here. Like this missile expansion. Very important. 
It could just, I mean, it's probably going to be lame and just be in, like, command center. You have dark beam to get there really quick. Um, oh, but sand processing, though. Yeah, yeah I would check this first. I think, honestly, I think you just do this cleanup. Like, um, get this intel on bioenergy. Go to storage B. Get command center. Lock yourself into an entry. It's great. <laughs> oh my gosh. Battleground could have space jump. We have an Aegon key in the tree. So, more theory crafting. <laughs> yeah. What in the heck? Oh, is Alliance making the same uh, Lava Lake play here? Not gonna be too rewarding. Oh, oh okay, never mind. I thought that was I thought that was Prime Bombs for a second. That 480p resolution is beautiful. What is in Vault? It looks like a light ammo or some kind of beam ammo. Um. Oh my goodness, you could see uh, you could see like a battleground play to pass into like Warriors Walk. I guess you like maybe double bomb jump out of there. That would kind of explain the E tank requirement, but I don't know if that's in beginner to get past the in claws. Um, I think you just uh, yeah, I think you like save and then like just go for battleground and see what's there, and then hope you get supers on the way. Yeah, I mean, what else can it possibly be? Um. Did anything but, open up for us in Temple Grounds? I don't think so. Nah. I mean, I, I think the likelier thing is just going to be Storage B or Command Center. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Is that bombs? Oh, Draxus is looking. Uh, can't tell. Yeah. That is indeed Morph Ball bombs, so Space Jump... Space Jump's got to be coming up soon. Spider Ball has to be coming up soon, I think. Wait, could Otter have just walked through the door there? It looked like Otter got that like thing where the door still opens even though the locks uh, are the door. I don't think so. I think you have to open. I think you have to open the door at the same time, or I think you have to shoot the door at the same frame. I don't know. I never actually have seen DLC done, so it, it's. Uh... Or I can't yeah, actually. I no, I have seen it. I just can't remember the last time. Yeah. yeah, it is frame perfect and. Uh... I don't. I think that there's collision on the lock itself. Yeah, maybe it's no, no. Just the Sync Temple Access one that's special. We'll need another. I know, I know that one. You can get through. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one of these I think has to be Space Jump slash Spider. Uh -huh. Wow. Oh, it's just save warped. It's a little unfortunate because mm -hmm. now they know the bombs are in logic, which means Avaria is. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a walk back to Zoid. Did Elias have a save at Gathering Hall? Uh, he did when he back to it. He did when he went to Zoid initially, but I don't know if he does anymore. Yeah. So yeah, the, honestly, a bit of a respite from this incredibly fast-paced opening. Yeah. Now it's starting <laughs> yeah. to now things are mellowing yeah, out just a little bit. So yeah, this is gonna be a bit of an advantage getting Elias Schmoov mm -hmm. in here. Uh, the bombs and the Varius should be quite a bit earlier. Because uh, I still finishing up the uh, early Dark Aegon loop and needs to make the labs dip after that. Which I expect we would see. There's not really much else to do on, on Rishai's side. Also, once again, sleeping on bioenergy production has consequences. <laughs> it's yeah. like so tempting to skip labs, but I don't know. Yeah. Like, I just I respect this. I respect the pleasure. Just full clearing Dark Aegon, like. It is kind of a lottery of whether it's going to be Temple Grounds cleanup or first half of Dark Aegon Wastes or a very small second half. Um, I mean, since since Audra's already here, she can just go straight to Dark, to dark Lab and just clean up stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have logical access to Torvis or Sank mm -hmm. really yet. Yeah. Uh, now, the really rude thing is if Echoes has to wait for Prime to get Spider Ball to get out. Or, or oh, supers to get out. We've got... Oh, we've TTS! Been TTS! We've been seeing it. So oh the only my goodness. So far. I am way behind. Under Transit 1. Lower Torvus once again. Going to be important. We have a Phase Hun Mining Tunnel artifact. Oh. Wow. 
So we're not going to know where Phazon suit is <laughs> until they find it. Nope. That is... That is very rude. <clears throat> so we'll see if... Elias, we'll see how Elias routes after Zoid. Presumably Zoid's going to be the mm -hmm. first thing we do. We have the option of going like plant into Lava Lake, or we could head back into Farchozo. Sluglin is heading to... Oh boy. Late Fen. This is, I mean, this is this is a good like rather than I, I being in it. BK, this is a uh, this is a play that gets us new checks. Mm -hmm. So I like this. Yeah, a lot. this will open up front fen from the Thardis side. Um, a little weird to do it, but like when you don't have bombs yet or Varia, doesn't hurt. Also, this check is I believe open with that space jump. That gravity suit makes that damage boost worth it. So yeah, maybe this is important. Maybe workstation has something. Oh dear! Uh, gosh. I we, didn't. We missed not... a uh, a very bad uh, artifact in phase on mine tunnel. Yeah, so, no, uh, I said it. Are... It was bad. Oh, it was phase on okay. I my ears missed it. I mean, I missed it. <laughs> I, mi I I missed it. Chat did not miss it. Yep. So yeah, that is no phase on suit hint. Uh, yes, <laughs> which is bad. Uh -huh. So a little bit of a lottery for us over the course of the seed. Oftentimes you kind of stumble into it for free, but you know, you never know. Audra is going for Central Mining Station. Yeah, it was a, honestly not worth it to tank there. Um, did not catch what the hit category was. Although with Dark Visor, well, I could just blind check it at this point without too much trouble. The oh, you say like life support system on Battleground? Uh, no, I, I missed whatever the category was. It was it oh. was just an E tank uh, as the the check itself. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Risha going to go front labs. This. Not the if worst. This continues, this, that's the space jump a yeah. little bit faster than, than Roger found it. Mm hmm. Beautiful scan dash. Yeah, nice. Zone. Oh, progressive suit and lower tor bombs are just lock in a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Dark suit. So that is Torvis access. And that is a spider ball. Mm. Oh. Wait, in Battleground? What there's the heck? A, there's an Echo's Ball upgrade here. Oh. Oh, goodness. <laughs> also, that Dark Suit came just in time, too. No, there's interested in the scene cache. Let's see what this uh, was. Well, we know that one of the items has to be here. Has to be Supers or Spider Ball. Yeah, this is... I think that's Spider. Yeah. I mean, so Cannonball's that's... still good. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I think I'm pretty sure that was better. So that's our logical axis. Out of labs. Um, makes sense. I don't Maybe. think we've seen... Oh, no. Audra, I think, did see Command Center. We just didn't see it. Or I didn't see it. And that's just a missile, I think. So, not going oh. for it. Bombless Thardis fight here for Sluglin. Always fun. Ooh. No Ray Shai? either. Okay, the blast door is just closed on Rayshai. So Rayshai might do the same thing that Audra did. Where he's going to go around the backside potentially because you have to go you have to go into this hallway like the main reactor access and then open up those blast doors but since processing is open and storage d is open i think ratio is going to be led into there first yeah, I could see it either way. Given that we're on Old Patcher, like, we have to reload this room, so, like, you have to kind of walk back into the command center anyways. So I think that makes it a little oh, easier that's to a route great point. in either direction. That's a great point. Maybe that'll lead Raid to check storage to be first. Uh, nope. Never mind. Just doing the unload, reload. We have a vanilla ice. Yep. No, we do not. So, a little bit more time bought for Aether Tablet. So this is interesting. I wonder if Elias is going to follow Slugly. Because we skipped Zoid. We did uh, not do that fight here. And now Varia suits kind of in the middle of nowhere. Um, you should never know we where, like... Oh, maybe we're going to walk back to it now. I was wondering if, if Elias was going to oh, yeah. try to skip Varia. He's not uh, that far. Just, yeah. Because getting back to Crossway isn't that slow, I feel like. 
Oh, but he has to fight the ghost yeah, first. that ice, it's a little slower, yeah. Oh, never mind. You know. Correction. Oh, this is the other layer. This is the post-ghost fight layer. <laughs> Which means that Elias did not do the hype, hyper bomb jump to skip wave beam there. Boost on Thardis. Okay. Prime boost on Thardis. Almost vanilla. Not quite, but... Huh. Wow, first try slope jump there. Nicely Beautiful. done, Slugland. Wow. Yeah, that slope jump's a little weird. We'd, with practice, it's pretty consistent, but mm. it's not as free as other slope jumps are. Well, no wonder Thardis had a bunch of energy today. He just was rolling around at the speed of sound. Yeah. Oh my god, what a great detail that'd be. Just like, speed up the animation speed on Thardis if he has a uh, boost ball. <laughs> That's yeah, like, gee, I wonder what happens. for Thardis to be holding the boost. Ooh, nice flame for that. Beautiful. Still no artifact reading from Slugland, unless I missed it. Also, uh, still no like no Torbus dive yet from either player. So, on on the Echo side, I mean, Ray Shy for understandable reasons. But oh goodness, we have a Dark Aegon Key Two and Ice Runes West. Mm. And with that spider, one left, Audra is now interested in Spider Side Sank here. Three checks in logic. Uh, yes, he's been pretty jet so far, Semper. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy that we've seen. The only annoyances are we have a PMT artifact, so we're not going to get a phase on suit hint. And we are looking for a Annihilator grab near the end for a TTS artifact. Honestly, given the uh, spawn supers. number of E-Tanks... Oh, what? What? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, What's going on? Feels really appealing. I mean, I guess Sank is open, yeah. Wow. I, I Honestly, yeah. Like, I kind of agree with this play. If you don't have logical access to Torvus, and this is open, just go do it. You have Spider Ball, you have the beams. Honestly, Sank might be uh, uh, already kind of proving itself to be a game changer. Yeah. Um. Also, this much. also could influence some Torvus shenanigans earlier, since you could just wall crawl through, or uh, well, you don't screw attack yet, but yeah, super is that make... a SDK on Calling Chamber. Right. Yeah, we take for SDKs. case. One less thing to scan when we get to mm -hmm. the uh, gateway there. No Is that a free E-Tank? Oh, oh Spider gosh. for Prime. Wow. Literal Spider's treasure. That's nice timing. Uh, Elias <laughs> is right by Dynamo here. Oh, wow. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, never going to be faster than this to clean that check up. Wow, now three ghosts are three... logic. So maybe Elias yeah. feels inspired to uh, get plant ghosts out of the way here before leaving. Yeah. Aether Tablet's got to be feeling good right now. Maybe. Yeah. No, C's so been rallying pretty well for them. Like, just playing it on the safe end. Uh, Reishai still doesn't have Space Jump yet to get all the stuff for Prime. Uh, uh, not, no, not hugely Reishai detrimentally the yet. And the bombs. They're, they're, they're on track now. Oh, my apologies. My apologies. Yeah, but but it was only crazy. just a minute ago, so... Yeah. Aether Tablet did have those two items for... A good five or six minutes extra, if not yeah. more. Now we could see some, we could see some high risk, high reward gameplay from Reishai, uh, depending on how they decide a route. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you know, Slugland does have the advantage of having done a, a fair bit mm -hmm. more of Fen at this point than uh, Elias has gotten to. Oh shoot! I did not see Dynamo from Elias. I meant to Cobalt on the thing. What the heck? Okay. Oh, Ice Temple Cobalt. And sank. I don't know how I feel about this one. Perhaps this is just a play to the save station? There's not a ton we can do here in Sank and Logic. Um, Baha, do you love that? Fans. Do you love that Team Orange Cats' last translator is going to be Amber? <laughs> that is kind of gross. Yeah, we're going to get Amber when we're a million miles away from Aegon <laughs> and just get no hints. Missile upgrade and Hive Dynamo. Did not see what Dynamo Works had. And uh, Orange Cats is going for... Oh, is that Seekers? It is Seekers. Okay, so that's Torvus Access. Um, interesting. That 
getting that now actually might not be good for for Reishai, but it depends yeah, on could. what he does because he will end up near Spider's treasure, like regardless. But oh, I don't know. Yeah, tough to say. Because Reishai might feel like, wow, I got I got this kind of late for Prime. Maybe Torbus is the answer, but like it's not exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, collectively, <laughs> between what we have on, on the runners, we do have hints access, but, uh, yeah, if your tablet does not have the Seekers, and Orange Cats don't have the Supers. Uh, with the suit, there is wall crawling possibilities. Um, and we're staying in Sank. Very interesting. That Cobalt would be so nice right now, but Elias is uh, not quite there yet. He's he's getting close. Like, and then that just might convince Audra to stay just to get those hints. Where was where was the Cobalt exactly again? That was in Chozo Ice Temple. That was plasma locked. Okay, yeah, Elias is fairly close to it. It's just interesting because Orange Cats has the prime completion advantage, but the Echo's checks have worked out far more significantly for Aether Tablet. All the bottlenecks were in labs, and Reishai was a decent bit later to getting those than uh, Audraxis was. Uh, see, it's a bit unfortunate for Aether Tablet that nothing has been here in early Magmar. <laughs> Hmm. Nothing, oh my nothing in early Magmar of interest. All right, that um, area is important. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Is that a Ice commentator's beam. blessing there? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's... Uh, I kind of called it. I figured something was going to be here. Ice Beam, though. Wow. That's... That's pretty big. And then where was that prime boost? Oh, yeah, on Thardis. On Thardis, yeah. I don't know when Elias does that now, but... Uh, Prime is that, literally a phase on suit from like full on like full clear. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Elias may be somewhat slow to the the boost as yeah. well. Just because uh, Thardis is a lot less appealing when you have the whole rest of the game open mm -hmm. to you. Oh, Elias did not check gallery tunnel. Okay, it's just an expansion. At least I don't think Elias did. Could be wrong. Uh, did I, did I even not notice the Oasis hint? It's a life support cyst. Oh, I don't know who that was for, though. I didn't see if that was for Prime. If that's for Prime, that is scary. Mm-hmm. That is, uh, that is quite scary. You're gonna hope, you're gonna, gonna want to hope there's, like, a direct hint for Phazon Suit. Note here so far in the Sank play. Uh, all this stuff is out of logic. We did have to do the, uh... The boost and or roll jump across watch station access to get here. Logically, this is all behind screw attack. Or uh, caretaker if the seed is truly evil. I mean, like, how do you... How do you cope with this with this ice beam find to complete your trifecta? Because, like, everything's open. You have gravity yeah. suit, so fr frigate's open. Those, like, few checks. Um, you have supers to get biohazard um maybe this is like a call to go to mines though because like with mines you could pivot yourself to like a lower mine check you have x-ray and then go to fen from there you could go to upper mines and go to life grow from there and then do frigate yeah these the, the so, seeds really are so open. hard to route because like you would love to have phase on before you do lower mines but also lower mines Ooh, is, we like, one of the likelier places to have phase on we have an Echo Visor. I think it was oh, oh to grow back to us. Oh. oh my god, what a clutch. Thank oh you. I am my doubting goodness. it. But that makes life so easy for Elias. We can, if we want, we can go straight what into the heck? Lines. Cat West? <laughs> wow. Is that grab boost there too? No, that's grapple. So we're not in go mode yet. We still have plenty of artifacts to get, plenty of SDKs to get. Um. Reishai does have more, slightly more Echo stuff than 
Audra does. Well, okay, Raisha is Cobalt and Seekers. That may prove to be impactful. We'll see. Yeah, it's it's very good for Team Orange guys that, that Raisha did actually make this tank play as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the super is very big. Uh, we're, what? What? We're not grabbing that? Is Raisha forgetting Spider? Raisha got Spider. But we didn't get Calling Chamber. It's interesting. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's odd. Maybe he forgot he had, didn't he had spider, which is weird because I just saw Raisha use it so to go to, to climb up the sink. So yeah, unless uh, Raisha is like very worried is... about trying to find stuff for Sloglin to keep her moving, but Raisha oh, doesn't but... have dark suits. So maybe he was worried about health. Oh yeah, I'm not health sure. Wasn't great, huh? Oh, and yeah, we do. Oh, this time. might change. Uh oh, <laughs> getting bullied a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, you, so, you only need, I think, like, an E-Tank to do Culling Chamber without too much fuss. Mm -hmm. Unless you're, like, worried about the Aang doing stuff, but you could also just supercharge the beacon nearby. I don't know, I, yeah, I do disagree with that play, I don't, but I also don't understand the thought process, so, maybe there's some more stuff there, and just as, uh, Audra leaves Sank, she gets Cobalt, so, we're gonna see what happens here. And, yeah, we're really... Otter is very uh, double, like even with finding, you know, managing to spike something, Otter is mm -hmm. kind of doubling down on the sequence breaking here. I mean, it's uh, worked out. It's, now I it's suppose... insane. Otter's going to get hints here, too. Is any of this in logic? No. We need no, this is like an advanced. or seekers to get down here. We have access to Hydro Dynamo Station because we do have upper Tarvis access. Yes. To but uh, we don't have the ability to do anything else. So yet. Elias is getting Audra Seekers now, so Train Chamber will be logical. Okay, see. So no, yeah, it was Spider. Yeah, so this will be. This is logical, basically. Yep. Just a matter of not. Yet. Oh no! I'll just gonna have to e dash across, or use the Spider Ball. And dead Umos. Uh, not. I guess not too surprising, given that we found everything for Prime already, and uh, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff for Echoes. Um, there was a hint that was gotten from uh, one of the emerald hints, I think, or not emerald hint. There was a someone had a hint somewhere that uh, the echo visor was near Torvus Grove. It was like two rooms away from Grove access. I honestly, I feel like if I'm Aether Tablet here, I'm just safe warping and going for my hints right now. We have we have all the items to go check them. Mm. Elias can do literally everything except like Life Grove. Um, let's just figure out what exactly our go uh, is. What, what we can afford to skip and not. Yeah. Uh, looks like oh yeah, Elias has to fight. Oh my goodness. Well, Otter, that that's an interesting. Of these, uh, emerald hints. Yeah. Life Grove is such an interesting, like, little gotcha, because that could give... I mean, Elias does have everything to fight Thardis right now, and he's close. He might be tempted to, for the sake of full clear, since they're not too far from, like, actual go mode. Mm -hmm. Um, Needs Screw Attack, and potentially Echo Visor, potentially we Light Suit. We probably do need Annihilator... Uh, and grab. I don't think Otter does. I was that. like, BTS. I was so ready for Ice Runes to just have Annihilator. <laughs> like, just straight up commentator's blessing, <laughs> but not quite. Um, ooh, I think that life support system was for Echoes in Oasis. So I don't think Oasis. Oh, I mean, it doesn't matter. We found all the suits. So, yeah. I was like, yeah, that's my phase on suit. Okay, Reishai entering Upper Torvis. From Aegon Wastes. And then the advantage they had with the Cobalt and Seekers is gone, but Prime Slugland has Boost Ball, Elias doesn't. Life Grove may or may not be important. We'll find out. Yeah. And but Slugland Elias does have that Ice Beam. Yeah. Slugland did make the play finally for the Varia, though, so Nightmare mm -hmm. could be next on the docket for her. In which case, that will even out, well, actually give her the lead in terms of Prime Progression, unless Elias yes. in the meantime does Thardis. Reishai might really clutch out on these hints here. Reishai is near all three of them. Yeah, uh, He has access to all three of the upper hints here. And I, TTS feels a bit like it might be the game changer here. If Reishai knows that wall crawl and Audra doesn't do it, that's two fewer go load items for team <laughs> orange cats that we have no intel on yet. Nice bioenergy production hint. 
<laughs> Audra getting the lore of the... Uh, oh, there's the Phazon suit hint. Oh, okay. Okay, Reishai is... Uh... Well, Reishai... Did Reishai get the hint? I'm trying to remember who got the Grove Access hint from where. Could you... Oh, actually, I might just be right there. Oh, no. Reishai is just moving on. So Echo being hinted, that's kind of misleading because you're logically required to or expected to have Echo Visor for the final fight. Mm -hmm. So that might be why it's hinted. Or it's like, I don't know, Sentinel's Path or some crap like that. Okay, Elias is in Rune Courtyard and he is climbing it. This could very well be a labs play and it is going to be a labs play. And again, unless I've not been paying attention, still no artifacts from Slugland's side, which means I honestly should bring up the VOD and see what, what Elias read to get an idea on the rest of the So, stuff. yeah, Audra um, pivot saved back to Sank now that we have this Cobalt and finished scanning all the lower Torvus hints. So what Audra is just on a fact-finding mission here. Yeah, um, I'm... This makes sense. Yeah, I like this. Audra can also do Sky Temple Key hints with what she has. Yeah, I like. I kind of think I would have preferred, af like, uh, save warping, for Sky Temple Key hints, and then making this play, just so you know if you're meant to be doing any checks here in Sank. Yeah. Um, as you're as you're kind of routing through here, plus you give your partner a little bit more time to maybe find you like a screw attack or something to to help out with stuff like this. Slope jump is a little annoying. Okay, Reishai doing a check that, uh, well, okay, Audra can do too. I'm, I'm mistaken. Oh, here we go. Artifacts. Thank you, Sluglin. <laughs> I was looking through the VOD array. What was that? TMT, Sank Temple Axis, Pod W, Dark Torvus Arena, Torvus Temple Axis, Life Grove Tunnel, ooh, Transit Tunnel South, Under Transit 1. So, uh,. I don't know if Elias enjoys uh, half-pipe bomb jumps, but that is on the docket unless we do find our way to Thardis at some point. Sorry, what did you say after Torvus Temple Access? Uh, Sank Temple Access. It was Sank Temple Access, not Torvus. Oh. Um, and then... Oh, that know. explains the Echo Visor. Or it has a partial explanation, at least. Mm -hmm. Wait, from Dynamo Access? Did I read that hint wrong? What the heck? What am I doing? Anyway, I'll uh, catch up on these hints real quick. Looks like Plaza was dead. Where are we off to now for Slugland? This looks like a return. Oh, and Chick is dead, by the way. Or Lava Lake. Yes, Chick is dead. Um... Sorry, I missed that because of uh, shenanigans. I don't know if we have any other bosses 100% confirmed dead yet, though. Uh, I mean, Flogro's like a kind of a gatekeeper, potentially. Supers and Spider for Sun Chamber as well, for ghosts. That is a uh, that is in logic. <laughs> Audra re-pivoting to the save. <laughs> that will go the other way out of main gyro. Oh, it was Life Grove Tunnel. Save. Yeah, Life Grove Tunnel. tunnel. That's, that's huge. Yeah, that's that's a bad artifact. That's that's for, enormous. Yeah, because you have to do the bomb jump out. <laughs> so you, Elias is really gonna want to find that boost ball, mm -hmm. and he will not be. Oh, thermal was in uh, Torvus. Looks like that was uh the temple. Who was that Nather? No, it was an Echo's item based on the fact that this is a HUD memo. It's not a bit important. Or no, Elias is interested in it. Quad's dead. Where are you? Uh, that is an SDK. Echo. Wait, no. Oh, SDK, duh. Oh, I saw that as Echo Master, especially when we had a hint <laughs> that it's in Echo's. Yeah. Ignore me. 
<laughs> it's okay. I mean, I look how behind the, on the uptake I was for uh <laughs> for the artifact hints. Not the biggest deal. So I don't know. So Elias, I don't think I ever did do plants. So this is new info for us. <laughs> Wave Buster and Research Core. Nice. Incredible. All right, Flogra. Not having. Ooh, unlimited beam ammo on. Uh, I mean... <laughs> Dang it. We have a dead chick. A Amorbus is also dead. Dark Torvis okay. Key 2. Huh? Yeah. On the worms. Don't care much about that. I, I love those. They're just so, those are so funny. Mm -hmm. You don't see those very often. Ooh, Jay coming in from another race saying it was really intense. That's crazy. Again, lots of uh, cool races happening on these speed gaming channels uh, over the course of this whole month. So definitely tune in to those races if you can. I don't know if it's worth linking the schedule page or or what, but kind of have a whole lot of races scheduled throughout the week. Each week. Nothing in there. Oh, wow. Close rates. Ooh, we'll have to check that one out after. Oh, my goodness. That is insanely close. Yeah, that's very wow. close. Wow. You see. Here's Pod W for Adraxis. All right. We got to have Amber. So getting to hints is actually a kind of a pain. So this could still be a hints play. Even oh, we have this a, isn't normally the way you route. We have a uh, a poison bog key, but dark Torvus was hinted as a Torvus key, so that m might be dead. Yeah, could be. Oh, oh yeah, my goodness! Never done the high <laughs> Sun chamber ghosts and Amorbus have dark Torvus keys. Ugh. Yeah, don't need those. So but like, is so gonna do matter. these checks or just kind of write them off? Yeah, it looks like we're gonna we're gonna hedge on skipping those. Oh no, sorry, I'm at the wrong gate. <laughs> okay, the decision's coming up, and we are gonna hedge on skipping them. Yep, that's not too unsurprising to me. They were available a million years ago, and we have been moving ever I don't since. We've seen a wind so. chamber play. This could be for like a wind chamber and like that kind of cleanup. Those two hints also, those violent hints that. I don't think Ray Shiat's gotten yet. Yeah, I'm imagining oh, this wait. is just a, a hints into Upper Torvis and grab all the hints along the way kind of play. Uh, I mean, want, technically, want our SDK hints now. you'd have to wall crawl around that Amber Gate, though, which... Oh, true, yeah. Oh, right. Why was I thinking Torvis wasn't logic earlier? It sure wasn't without... Torvis is, logic, is logical with what they have now, with, with through Aegon. Now but... with the Seekers, yeah. Yeah, but I thought I thought Otter had Torvus access mm -hmm. uh, when they were doing Sank, which is why I was not in not a big fan of doing Sank at that point. But I was I was incorrect mm -hmm. until the Seekers came through. They didn't have either region in Logic. Remember to validate your elders even in death. Is it truly a shrine for the honored dead if it doesn't have the ETM in there? Elias was a little bit baited by that missile expansion. Probably thought it was like a progressive suit or something. We finally made our way past that stinking amber gate there. Okay, Slugland finally has got an ice beam. So now it's just a matter of who full clears what. Hunter's visor and Aegon. Um, that is no, that's just the thanks game dark visor hint. Okay. Elias only has oh my goodness so Elias only has one artifact still well okay so a lot of the a lot of the items are in a lot of the artifacts are in echoes but um minus like annihilator which even then like you could what could you do you could I don't know you still you still need screw attack to get out of bounds in lower Torvis we have a blind so that would be here this is just gonna be a Okay, so Rayshine and Sloglin, understanding the, the larger context of this seed, they know that they have all Prime's items, more or less. It's just a matter of where's Annihilator and Screw Attack, and that's kind of it. 
Yeah, I well, maybe depend, yeah, depending on what we see for our SDK hints, I suspect that Orange Cats may just be in screw attack mode. I, yeah, I <laughs> expect that rage mm -hmm. can skip the. Uh, Audra has a few more SDKs, but not by much. All right, what's the damage? Cash A. It's fine. Central Dynamo. Okay. It's fine. Plasma processing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, we need the boost. But Elias is on Thermos oh, right now. Oh, well, he, that's he is fine. Wow. Elias is going to be so happy. He's he's doing this boss. <laughs> okay, we have one more hint left. Elias, you don't know it, but you're going to be a happy guy. <laughs> okay, we got one more. Was that not for? Oh, didn't scan the last one. <gasps> Was it not for? Um, it was what four. Cache, send Do I scan Dina, three? And unless you saw the yeah we yeah we scanned four and Wait, we have so we're fine. Wait what? I thought she scanned only three. I have one empty Cache, slot here. Plasma processing, great tree chamber, um, and I've already forgotten the last one. But there was a fourth. Uh, yeah, she didn't scan it. I don't think. I only got the three unless I missed. No, central central dynamo plasma processing, GTC and send dyna. No, and cache. What, whichever one of those cache, you didn't say. Cache central dynamo plasma processing. Do you see? Oh, did I get all four? Okay, I'm. This is, this is like, oh, I no. cannot believe how poorly my brain is working because like I know I've said four things, but every time I try to list them, I list a different three of them. I <laughs> can't remember the fourth. One. Oh no no we're fine we're fine. I had marked four of the SDKs and there's a fifth one that she got no she's she's fine oh there's amber <laughs> wind chamber you were talking about oh wind my god are stuff being in play wait it's in wind chamber oh yeah, my wind... god that's so bad that's so but, dumb okay so they're both gonna have that that's actually super convenient for audra because audra probably wants to do upper torus mm -hmm. here can't because of amber and now this will suddenly be an op a routing option wow this is a really okay nice well that's <laughs> well no wonder it's just, it just next to where they need to go that's that's yeah. cool Wait, logically? Oh no, Audra reset the grapple. We have to do the scan dash now. <laughs> logically, this is behind that stupid grapple all the way in. Oh, Actually, God. wait, is this not in logic? So I don't think that grapple's in logic yet. Uh, it was in uh, it was in transit station. Wait, no, yeah, we have vanilla sank entrance or vanilla sank entry. Oh, they have power bombs. They have main power bombs. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, they got main power bombs. Yeah, but we don't have a we don't have a, a way across watch station access. Watch station. Uh, so it's only in logic because yeah. of entering sank from the front. No no annihilator yet either. Uh yeah, I think you're right. Oh, so oh we have light suit, suit for Ray Shy. I yeah. did not <laughs> notice the light suit. What the heck? Hmm. That's unlimited missiles. Uh shoot, where was that light suit at? Because I did not see it. Yeah, Audra is uh, going to make the plane to Apertorvis. A lot of the good stuff was up here. A lot of the artifact SDK kind of clean up anyways. Hey, Reshe, in a sink entrance. Uh, let's see, reading up. Oh, power bomb on. <laughs> nice. So I feel like what, what Aether Tablet needs is, like, Prime to have most of the remaining progression and for Annihilator Grav to show up before attack i think if all that happens they're in pretty yeah shape. um otherwise i'm i'm kind of worried about the implications of uh out of bounds breaking the seat open if the uh mm -hmm. if one of those two items is cursed and we know what we know what what race i can do mm -hmm. yeah honestly cleaning up sank entrance now not a bad play like you're in late game you're starting to get casino done stuff well okay i say that but amber I don't know. You're here. You might as well. Yeah, Ray Shai hasn't hardly it. done any of Sank, so this is this is a Cobalt hint, and we have a lot that of too, Cobalt yeah. behind this, so. The, the densest bunch there. of information and checks he is here in, is here in Sank for mm -hmm. Ray Shai, so I like this play. And simultaneously, I like the Upper Torvus play for, uh, for Aether Tablet. Yeah, honestly, this is, I think this is the break that Orange Cats is going to need to start catching up, because definitely a hard lesson from last, from yesterday's race, too, because Ray Shai 
lost a bit of time going for an SDK when uh, Slugon was like, "Get my <laughs> go to uh, <laughs> go to Wonder Temple. Get my get my last artifact, please." Mm -hmm. So just trying to okay, Thermal was in Great Bridge. I was like, it was either there or it was in somehow in uh, the Temple access, but that's what I thought it was. And that is every major upgrade outside of like Ice Spreader. <laughs> Waybuster was, I think, seen somewhere. Wait, we're we're interested in second hands. Oh, what's he, what's here? <laughs> oh my goodness, is this just annihilator? Second entrance likes to have beams sometimes. So, what is that? Oh, it's screw attack! Oh, 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 oh. uh, that is that go mode? Is about as bad as it gets. Oh wow! Wow. Also, just putting out screw attack on tech entrance, awful. Yep. <laughs> Horrible. Uh, wow. That's insane. That this room has decided go mode. Like. Now we say that, and so well, I, I noticed this from Rachel's last race was a, a fairly late check of uh, SDK hints, because I don't think Team Orange Cats has the SDK hints yet. Now, Audraxis has more, she has more SDKs under her belt and more checks done. But like, she'd have to like go back to like Aegon right away and hope that Amber yeah, hints are like, important. But it's like, do you even do that at this point? Like, I mean, like, also Raisha is not, not that far from like an Aegon pivot. And like Prime pretty much has to full clear the C just from how spread out all the artifacts and SDKs are. Yeah. And Elias is a very large advantage in terms of Wow. That. Now I say that, what I believe is skipping far from that because there weren't any artifacts or SDK. Oh no. <laughs> just wanted to do the effort there, please. This okay, Rayshai is save warping, I think. See, this is where the early SDKs might have come in clutch mm -hmm. for Team Orange Cats, because you might have been able to get away with skipping this um, if you knew that there were no SDKs here. Um, and you're otherwise in go mode. Um, Rayshai might do like a pod W thing just to get that artifact and then go back to Sank, maybe. Mm -hmm. Would it be a bad time to do it now, just to get it out of the way? You have uh, Prime full clear in their game. Uh, the question is, like, with what potential... Like, like Sluglin still has to do, like, I think a decent number of mines. Yeah, Sluglin recently got Ice Beam, so, Slug like, still has, the like, a fair number of checks left. Frigate, I think, like, lower mines. Uh... I start being there. Maybe, both the maybe Rayshai just goes for Amber Hint cleanup, and then... From there, like goes back to Sank. I think. Well, I think it all comes down to if if Rayshai knows TTS from out of bounds because they're in go mode. If if so, and oh um, yeah, probably right. Start I'm the one like thinking Annihilator and Echo, <laughs> but yeah. they don't need it. Um, yeah, there's done. I mean, given that Rayshai went did the SA or the um, what you call it, <laughs> Beetle Pin. I mean, Rayshai did the Incash 2 escape, so mm -hmm. I I think they probably know TTS. Yeah. Yeah, it's starting... It's going to be... It's a shame that neither of those items have showed up yet, because, yeah, that makes it really difficult for Aether Kevlar here. It's going to be more irritating without gravity boost, but, I mean, that's just a... That's a small little, like, concession mm -hmm. you make towards Echoes. Well, and similarly, like, yeah, I also prefer to have Echoes so I can start the wall crawl in that room rather than having to loop. Oh, Raisha hasn't done SDK hints yet. Right, yep. That makes sense. So, yeah, presumably, I think, so I think Raisha had a save in Upper Sank, so we're probably going to pivot back to that and look for that phase on because we only know approximately where it is that it's in Upper Sank somewhere. Uh, okay. And then that will be the actual go mode. I'm curious. I'm curious how much that light suit influenced Raisha to... to route in sank entrance along with the FTA. Like oh, you maybe. do have the hint, but then getting the item and then I feel like that kind of incentivizes you to just clear out sank entrance along with that. And then that just adds screw attack. So 
I'm curious. I'm curious if Reishai would have gone for Sank Entrance had he not gotten Light Suit. Also, where was Light Suit? I'm tr I, I have no idea. do not know where that was. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not see that being acquired. Oh, there's Echo. Oh, Echo's... Oh, then right, Reishai's had Echo. My apologies. Because Reishai went to Plaza quite a bit earlier. I did not notice that either. My bad, Chad. My bad. But that makes sense, though, given the Grove access hint. <laughs> and the location well, next to Echo Visor on my tracker. Let's see what's in Forgotten Echo Bridge, apparently. Oh, it was? Wow. Oh, Annihilator in MQA. Oh, that's I mean, okay. I mean, if Grav shows up soon, wow. This, uh, I think Tablet may still be actually in really good shape here. And yeah, just really I really need that Grav to show up, like, on path during this cleanup. If they if yeah. they have to hunt around for it at the end, I don't know that Orange Cats is going to give them the time to do much hunting. Yeah, this this momentum shift is absolutely in Orange Cats' favor. Mm -hmm. That screw attack is so important. Okay, well, my bad for missing the Torbus stuff there. Um, yeah, it was Echo Visor and Light Suit, which is nuts. I mean, it's Forgotten Bridge. I forgot the bridge, so <laughs> it's all good. Uh, we're not doing jump boost guarding right away. A little surprised by that. I mean, perhaps we can route it in as we're coming back to the portal. But we know some. I think an artifact was there. Kind of. I guess that maybe makes sense. Because Elias can true go mode once they find gravity boost at this point. Well, no, gravity and screw attack. So maybe you prioritize the checks versus the artifacts a little bit. I mean, I feel like if you know you're in go mode minus one at this point, I feel like you clean up Torbus and just book it to Aegon just to see if screw attack sinted. Hmm. Because that could save you. Yeah, I mean, and, and that... Oh, yeah. That Cobalt, the Sank Entrance, you know, the Sank Entrance is both a hint and an unknown item, whereas, like, going back to Aegon, I guess there's a few checks we haven't done there, but mostly it's just hints with no checks. Um, so sometimes when you can do both checks mm -hmm. and hints, that is a bit more appealing. Yeah. Perhaps Otter could be led in that direction as well. I feel like Sank Entrance has entered the realm of, like, Burn Dome, where, like, it's... It, I feel like it's so likely to have something, despite the amount of requirements it has. Mm -hmm. And also just for it being a slow check, that you almost just <laughs> wanted to go for it. Yep, yeah, sure tried to burn me. There we go this tournament. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we got there. Um, let's see, Audra has one Sky Temple key left. Uh, and Reishai is going to be quickly catching up on that front. And then Aether Tablet also will need a gravity boost, presumably for Transit Tunnel South. Um, Orange Cats may just be in go mode. I'm assuming they are. Like, it, it, all this trick knowledge, and I mean, granted, I mean, I've trick knowledge, and I've never done in cash to escape, but. but yeah, TTS it's, it's is one of those, like, like there is worth so it. much tech in Echoes, and a lot of it is, mm -hmm. like, different and requires you to have actually individually practice, yeah. like. It's hard to know. Okay. <laughs> that would like have been one, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Like, once you're out of bounds, once you're out of bounds in... Uh, oh, Reishai still has to get phase on suit for um, for okay. Sluggern. What are you doing with out of bounds? Reishai doing this puzzle skip? What the heck? Oh, yeah. Could be. That's uh. Well, if you're playing on Dolphin, I guess it's fine. But if you're on Nintendo, and that's a, that's a tall order. Okay, looks like Boost Guardian has the has the key. Or artifact. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's all Elias got left. Not a whole lot. Um, yeah, Elias is... Seen, we gotta do the life grab area still, maybe? And I guess we haven't seen upper mines maybe on Elias' side. You know, that could... That could be... 
that could be something is Elias could finish. We, we know Eli we know that everything is in Echo, so Elias could just finish once he has all nine artifacts. Well, the problem is they need that they need the grab and the screw attack, and they don't know yet that those are in Echo. Oh, gravity boost, right? I forgot uh, about gravity boost. We don't even know where backpack is. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. think it's been hinted. I mean, if it's just here, <laughs> if it's just on OP, that would uh, that would be wild, but. Don't know. Not sure. A lot of mm -hmm. mines left, I think, to check. I don't know if Elias has done... I don't think Elias has done much, in, if at all, in Upper Mines. No, I don't think so, because we routed in... That's a route in. Yeah, I think we route that in after. Plus, yeah. I don't remember if there were really... Were there any artifacts or SDKs in Upper Mines? I don't think there were. There was any. Rayshai just skipped that artifact. I am a little confused. Maybe come, they're maybe they're coming back. You just shoot yeah, the Yeah, that's true. Thing. We don't have annihilator, so we're forced to go back to Saint Temple Axis to leave the leader. Oh yeah. Is this just another hint then for logic? I'm. Yeah, I mean maybe. Oh, maybe Rayshai doesn't know the wall crawl. Yeah. That's that's interesting. Oh, the super missile got hinted. And yeah, Otter is heading back to Aegon. Lots of Amber hints here. Okay, so you could wall crawl past the Annihilator door doing this. Oh, Reshai nice. might be setting up Cannonball. Not that that's that useful at this point in the run, but... I'm curious what this player is Reshai is doing some br big brain stuff. Could be... Uh, could be Cannonball while doing Spider Guardian, but I don't know. Depends on what direction Reishai goes. If, the, if Reishai turns all the way left, then that's just to bypass the thing. That doesn't make sense, because Reishai bypassed the artifact. And uh, Yeah, honestly, I don't really understand this. Oh god, are we, like, out of balancing? No. What are we doing? Reishai is bypassing the Annihilator door. Are we peeking Sentinel's path? Sentinel's path wasn't anything. This gotta be for grab boost. Like I feel like this gotta be grab boost. I think. Whoa! How do we wait? Sentinel's path is open. They have Raishai has. Oh wait! Oh, wait, oh, no, no Raishai doesn't have annihilator. Oh, cause MQA. Okay, what is? is this for hints? Is this just for easier, just quicker Torbus access? It's for the cobalt hint. Oh, that, oh, well, that's actually, almost did, did Ray Shai get to so scout good. Sentinel's path there? Maybe that was to see if Phazon was in Sentinel's path. No, but did, there, Phazon did was. Did get to see that? Phazon was about. hinted. Phazon was hinted on. Uh, it was like within some rooms of Sang Temple. Um, it was it. I thought it yeah. was a. Oh well, I mean they're gonna find it out. Oh right, it wasn't. It wasn't an exact hint. I don't. Yeah, think. it was it not. A, it was not a direct hint. So maybe that was a peek of Sentinel's path to see if. Okay, that actually that's smart. Okay, my bad, yeah. my bad. Feel free to make fun of me. All right, shite. <laughs> All right, we missed the first amber hints. <laughs> warriors. Oh, hold. That was uh, uh, that was something in Warriors Walk. Uh, that was not grapple. That's grav. That's grav. Oh, wow. That's grav. All right, so Otto's gonna be a bit disappointed that that's not screw attack, but uh, that is one piece of the puzzle. Yeah. It's it's the movement system hint that we thought was gonna be hinted. Just <laughs> I'm just like. Yeah, it's hard to Not know, the like, movement system. Because, like, the one movement system is in go mode. So it's like, are you supposed to go get that I mean, right away? Or are you supposed like, to keep chasing hints? Um, I feel like they're in go mode. It's just... Well, I don't know, though, because Rayshai went... Unless Rayshai already got that artifact, but I don't think they did. I don't think he did. I think Rayshai still needs to clean up. Oh, and... uh, the flight <sighs> is now very safe to get that. I'm I'm so confused right now. <laughs> yeah, we do seem to have lost Elias's feed here. Rayshai might have been fixated on um Rayshai might have been fixated on just finding where that phase on suit was. And then letting the artifacts come later, since Slugland has like what six right now? Five or, or how many does does she have? Oh she has three. So and she still needs to, let's see, 
I don't think she's done Lord uh, Mines yet. Oh, Raisha, I didn't go, go back and get this. Yeah. Okay, this is a weird kind of two-lap kind of deal, but... I mean... Raisha is getting them now. So it's fine. Okay, grab... Okay, that was the last... That's the last item, progression item in this seed. True. Yeah, we've seen literally everything else. I guess Ice Spreader, I don't remember seeing anywhere, but... I mean, we don't about Ice Spreader. <laughs> I love ice spreading. It's good for final bosses, and no one will convince me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. So yeah, Otter probably gonna return to scanning a bunch of amber hints. We'll see. Maybe the amber hints will just be money here. Uh, if if they get directed to I mean, screw attack as well, then Audra the needs know that they're done. Audra, actually, Audra needs this to be <laughs> screw attack entered. And then it needs to be specifically like a prox hint that's like in sync or just in sync entrance. Like if it's if it's like from an energy tank, that's gonna be so awful. Yeah, it's so where are we at at the cleanup count. So Aether Tablet has twelve of the keys. Audra typed F. Oh, Audra and Rayshai have ten. So it's like oh, that's Rayshai. I'm sorry. That's not Audra. Or Orange Kid, yeah. So if Tablet is actually ahead on the uh on the SDK artifact cleanup here. So if they do enter go mode soon-ish, uh, they may maybe sit in pretty good shape still. It's just a matter of when Audra goes for Sank Entrance. Yeah, this is a really interesting race. When when will Audra make the Sank Entrance play? I mean that's gonna be very shortly the only hint Audra has left, right? Like, so if Audra's gonna, if Audra's strategy here is to chase hints. Oh, that's true. I didn't think um, about that. That uh, it seems very likely that we're gonna see Sank Entrance mm -hmm. sooner rather than later. Uh, did we see Mining Station B yet from anyone? I don't think we did from Ray Shy, uh, but. No, I don't think. Seekers were pretty late, and Screw Attack, obviously, as well. Yeah. Um... <laughs> that's for, uh, <laughs> what was that for? Is that like, a... Uh... That was supers way I think back it was, when. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, who oh boy? That was not what we're looking for here from my station B. I know this pace is like, it's been kind of like, it, it was like on fire and then slow down a bit. We're still only an hour and twenty in. <laughs> yeah, and see, both I games mean, are mostly was cleared. Truly actually, pretty it was jacked. A really fast seed. Um, yeah, maybe. I haven't been super watching closely all the times, but like, yeah, this could still this could be all one right. of the quicker seeds of the tournament. Okay, Rayshai getting this now. I there must be a thought process behind this. I Actually, did, did Otter don't know why this delaying up? this was the case. Does Otter need to head back to Upper Sink? Okay. All right, because yeah, Otter had the buys, so it was pretty easy even without screw attack. Oh, like, what <laughs> well, nice uh, standable resume there. <laughs> I love that. Incredible. Oh, thanks, game. Audra bombing two crates for two 80% chances at a PB and gets nothing. Beautiful. So oh. Is mine's full clear for Elias? No, we're going back in. Oh my gosh! I think that thermal, I think that thermal visor hinted was the path for boost ball on Thardis. And if this is a save warp, this feels like it's going to be sank entrance. Uh, she did pod W, I think, earlier. I, I, don't know. Our, I think that is her what last else is... hint. Is oh no. I'm not sure. Like, what else okay. is what's check dense in like Torvis, like lower Torvis to like sank play? But I don't. Yeah, we've done very little of lower Torvis. Um, and we're like, we do need to clean stuff up there. So, like, you can we can clean up the TTS maybe like and stuff. dungeon. Oh, she's just gonna, I think she's gonna go lower Torvis for the um TTS artifact. Mm -hmm. I think this is to get Elias in. This is to get Elias to finish, I think, which is smart. 
Right, yeah, because Elias is about to be... Like, Elias has to do... That, wow, that actually might... <laughs> if Audra finds screw attack fast enough, Elias having the first finish might give them the edge. Yeah, because, I mean, even if Elias never... If, even if Elias has to do it through process of elimination, what's left, right? Like, it's just the life grove area into Frigate, and then we're done? Do we have anything else? I don't think I... Not Elias much. never really had to isolate any checks life because Plasma was so early. Yeah, so I think it's just do life grove, do reverse Frigate, and then yeah. go beat the game. Yeah, Slugland is doing... Slugland is just starting lower mines, and he's going to get that Annihilator. Yeah, so this actually could be very big. This gives Audra extra time. So yeah, I really like this uh, this kind of change of pace now. Unfortunately, this, there's so many close. artifacts. Got. Like, what's what's Elias at? Only Elias only has four. Where are the other five? Uh, has Audra not done Saint cleanup? So TTS Audra is doing now. Uh, oh, Under Transit one and TTS for sure. I don't think she has done either of those. Yeah, I think um, one of these up here. He's was going for Life Grove Tunnel right oh. now, so that's gonna get him. That's gonna get him to five. Uh, I Dark Torvus Arena. Uh, I don't no, think yeah. Audra's done Dark Torvus. I think this is Torvus cleanup. I don't know if Audra's done Dark Torvus Arena yet. Uh, I thought Audra did. I think I think Upper Torvus is full clear for for Audra. Yeah. But we didn't do. We didn't spend much time in lower. Like numbers. we just grabbed the three emerald tents and bailed, which made sense because we had never grabbed. I just, it's weird because. Can we race? is going for air to water. Oh yeah, no grab for race. I had to slow us down some. Race is going into. Oh. Uh. I'm what. Is Shai changing their mind? Changing his mind? Maybe he's gonna do a save before some wall crawling. If it's been a while since you've saved and you're about to do a wall crawl, I can. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, save. you're not really at risk of soft locking in in uh, TTS because you're gonna be in the water box. So screw. It. Audra might be baited into doing like full clearing dark lore Torvis because I don't think she's done like. Oh, did I'm guardian or under the room? Because I don't think that was anything. What's up? That's oh, E. Yeah, maybe Otter didn't get a great look at that. Yeah. The yeah, truth right. shall <laughs> set you free. Race having a bit of trouble with the second attempt at this air underwater. Okay, Audra has all of her Dyke Temple keys. It's just a matter of finding that screw attack, which, uh. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just this was the check dance play for her, and it's just not working out. Uh, she didn't scan that hint, but she may have done that previously. I'm trying to remember, what are the artifacts left for Aether Tablet? Is Elias is still missing. Three Under Transit points. 1, I'm pretty sure. And then. Uh, Potentially Dark Torvus Arena, but I can't remember if Audra already went up to Upper Torvus. Oh no, she would have had to because she found her Echo Visor and her Light Suit. Mm -hmm. So no, I think she's done Boost Guardian already. So, um, Sanct Temple Access? Did Arda not get that? Has she, has she cleared that out? Maybe did Arda not have both visors? Because we didn't have screw attack for the the kind of easy method of getting that. That's, oh, that's right. She doesn't have that. So if we, I mean, she can still she can still get that. It's in logic for her now. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to remember if we had the visors when. Audra was oh, she doesn't. She, she came into Gathering Hall. I think to thinking like, okay, I'll just screw attack the. Oh wait. I'll screw attack the thing that can't be screw attack because I don't have screw attack. Oh right, yeah, we can't take this. So portal. she has to go in this, through. Yeah, this portal doesn't work. She well, okay, she can go in. Well, she has to go the long way around. She has to start the grapple guardian fight, but she can skip grapple guardian, and then just power bomb her way into under transit one. Well, I just don't think we can. Yeah, I, I think we just have to leave here, right? Because I don't think we can climb this room. Reason? Well, I guess. Oh, you, you can. can do this. You slope jump onto the laser. Yeah, 
You slipped up on the laser to get out. Otherwise, yeah, you're stuck. Almost gets it. This is this isn't that bad of a slow jump. It's just a little precise. That's a nice little visual. Uh, angle. That's a nice angle to go about it, though. That might make that more consistent. I'll have to try it. Uh, someone asked about Flagra. Uh, Sunshimmer Ghosts had a Torvis key, which is mm, doesn't lead to anything because this chick is dead. Also bad because Amorbus has the, another Torvis key. Yeah, I think. Well. Oh, and Ray Shai is getting. Uh... Oh, I already got under transit one. So. Yeah. Uh... Let's see, Aether Tablet. Is that eight or six out of That's eight. So Ray Shai is almost done with her with his SDKs. He has, uh, what, just TTS left? Did he do a TTS while it was not looking? Uh, I don't think we've seen No, because Sluglin has the thing open, so. Um, oh, Dungeon was one, was it not? No. No, no. no, Dungeon's dead. All Dungeon can have is, like, Ice Spreader. Yeah, so, so... Sluglin just has the TTS remaining, and going to dungeon is going to put Reishai right there. Um... Right, Reishai couldn't... So Reishai would have had to go out of bounds and, like, transit on a west or east, and then, like, transition to either Catacombs or Gathering Hall from there. So it would be a longer wall crawl, but it's still possible. So having that Annihilator means that you can just uh, you could do the secret world like right there in, um, in what you call it. But based on what Reisha is doing, I guess I mean I mean maybe they can do the wall crawl, but they're more comfortable doing the inbound strat. Yeah, this will be the moment. Yeah, we are going into the room. It's going. Huh. Alright. I mean, looks... I mean, Reisha is timing it more or less right, so... Okay. Also, Gravity Boost makes the wall crawl easier. Because mm -hmm. you're going to have to, like, morph and fall onto it. But that's not the worst in the world, because it's an artifact, so you could, like, say... Oh! Well, did Reisha get any SDKs for themselves down here? Is there Are there any SDKs down here, actually, for them? I don't think there are. Don't think so, so. Reishai might be playing this with the intent of soft resetting. Yeah, could. Afterwards. And we did, yeah, we did take the save up at the top of Upper Torvis, or Lower Torvis mm -hmm. earlier. Yeah. Uh, Reishai is not at the bottom of the Catacombs box. It just has to climb up. Because the edge of the box is... This, this box layout is kind of weird. But, okay, there we go. Found the, found the, found the wall. Oh, and they're they're not in the waters. So they can just quickly climb up to the top like this. Beautiful. Oh gosh, we have to use the bomb slot because we don't have either screw attack or grapple. I think you can do dashes here, but it's like very punishing. Uh, you yeah, you fall down if you miss the scan dash. You, you could probably roll jump that, but I'm not sure. Mm, yeah, yeah, probably. All right, so we have to morph, and there we go. That is go mode. <laughs> <It's just laughs> <down. laughs> oh, no, no. That's fine, because they needed yeah, to keep the fine. game active in case uh, the <laughs> item didn't propagate. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, that's it. Well, that was not the last one, it looked like. From no. The there. Yep. But they're only... They're only one behind Elias now. They're only one behind both players. Oh, Dark Torvis Arena. And Dark Torvis Arena is free, so... Yeah. I hate to say yeah. it, but I think, I think whatever advantage Aether Tablet had with, uh, with Key Collection is gone. Not to mention, Audra still doesn't have Screw Attack. 
yeah, doesn't know where it is. Like Audra coming down here was like, the, like these are the, the checks that. Yeah, I I, I, don't don't, give you the I understand. Left. I yeah, no, I I, I get understand it. why because the artifacts bait you into doing these, but it's just mm -hmm. it's not here. Oh, but then they're also thinking like maybe it's in Prime because it's not hinted. But again, it is it is a Casino Echoes item, which is horrible. Oh yeah, Eliza hadn't done plant either. It's gonna get a stinking Torvis key out of this. And a mile Rayshai is beelining this boost guardian fight. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Ray is doing the uh, the slope jump strat here. Oh yeah, the I'm gonna get bullied the by the Grenchler, but that's all fine. <clears throat> uh, slug is not moving because. Um, they are They're done. They're waiting. They, yeah, they need to get one more artifact sent over by Ray Raisha here from uh, Boost Guardian, and then they'll yeah. be ready to go beat their final bosses. Yeah, this is the rare. I'm in BK, but we're in Go mode. <laughs> <laughs> the... Nice roll jump there. Also, a rare instance where they are arguably winning while in BK, which is <laughs> <laughs> very strange, but. The only winning move is not to play. Right, so where are we at now? So we're at seven, it looks like, for Elias. What are the two that are missing? Uh, good question. I think it's Tank Temple Access, and um. Why do I have Sanctable Access marked twice? That's not right. Well, do you wrap through Sank Entrance to get the Sank Temple Access? Question mark. I mean, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is, I mean, this is sort of do or die, but like it's a little late I at think this it's point already because. Yeah. Audra needed to find Screw Attack like ASAP and just hasn't. They're going, I mean, they're going this way. This isn't as direct, but I don't know. Or, I mean, I guess somehow they didn't get Pod W, but I could have sworn Audra did. So I do oh. not think, hmm. I don't know. What or Reliquary what Hints. doing here? Maybe not go voting. Okay, Audra did not get Pod W or Accursed Lake. Is there another one that Rishi hasn't gotten? Why is Slugman not going? Uh, Rishi needs to get. Rishi needs. Well, that's a good question. Uh... Um, Pod W as well. Okay. Well, okay. What's Pod W? So Pod W and I. First. This is uh, probably their last SDK now. I think that's the last one. Yep. So then it's just. Yeah, I was the, what was remaining. W and both of them are done. That's funny. I could. I thought I saw one of these players go to Pod W, but I guess not. Yeah, screw attack and sank entrance. Rough. It's it's not good. In fact, it's bad. That's why it's not good. <laughs> True. Excellent commentary from Bash Prime, folks. <laughs> they don't call it good entrance. Is it called Sank Entrance because your hopes sank after oh. finding out? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please follow our runners. <laughs> My hopes specifically have been dashed. Okay, not not the not the runners. This is a good race. Okay. Oh God. Andra back in Torvis, heading towards Sank. So yeah, this kind of looks like a Sank Temple Axis. 
something up here. Look, these runners are putting their blood, sweat, and tears on the line for us, okay? They're... It is, you know, the taste of victory slash defeat. Like, it is... It is stressful. It's stressful stuff. So, the fact that this race was this close for this this long, though, like... Great. Yeah, no, this definitely was one that looked like it could go either way um, through through the majority of it. Um, Audra's really the right idea, but... Both teams... Just doing more check dense stuff, but it's sank entrance. It's it is the it is the wrong sank play, unfortunately. Outside of temple access, which you need, but yeah, I mean, it just kind of worked out nicely because like, Rachel had access to it at Cobalt mm -hmm. and hadn't done any of sank yet, whereas you know, Audra had cleaned out a decent chunk of sank, so the prospect yeah. of returning to sank was a little less uh, enticing for for quite a while. Oh god, we don't even have screw attack to climb. Um, you can BSJ this, ATS. but it's... well, no, no, but we we can't go up the uh, the vault side. We have to loop all the way around Sang to get to. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, that is no screw attack. Yeah, that sucks. All right, that is Elder Four Slug. So she's done. She can just go fight final bosses. Fortunately, yeah. Elias is also waiting. Like. Yeah. Crazy! It's actually just this this momentum completely shifted, and Slug and like, is uh, well on her way to be the first to finish here. And like, how impressive is that for Elias, right? Like, you're waiting only because you are full clear, and it's one hour and like mm. thirty six minutes or something when you got here. That is an impressive full clear time. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, I say that, but Rayshai has got to actually be the first to finish. Yeah, after final bosses are pretty quick relative to. Uh, prime ones i got baited by the, the thought there'd be prime one but it wasn't i know tgc has been beating me most of these seeds recently yeah so, it's just too much echoes there was like do at the end usually yeah there was one you qualifier okay no, no sorry i didn't mean to interrupt no, 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 no. there's one qualifier uh, yeah, the, it was a third qualifier. I finished like 20 minutes behind uh, Reggie, <laughs> so he had just full cleared that quickly, and I was like, I forget what the, I forget what the, like I was in go mode, but I still had like four SDKs to get. Yeah, I'm answer question in chat. The the number of artifacts and or SDKs required to get to final bosses is configurable, um, and we set it to nine in each game as part of our. Uh, CGC preset. Yeah, for for Prime like solo, especially you commonly see uh, six artifacts be the the number needed rather than twelve. But nine's another pretty common option. I've seen like eight for like the you know like two thirds of the artifacts instead of three quarters. Yeah, it was somewhat arbitrary. I think we just picked it to kind of align with Echoes because mm -hmm. Echoes can only go up to nine. Yeah, gives a Prime a bit more of an objective to do too usually. Since mm -hmm. Primus Fee were progression items needed for go mode. I mean, Audra can still make this close if she just finds a secret world in uh, in Sky Temple, but don't think that's going to be happening. Tank Temple access. The last one. Oh, was there one at Alir? Uh, there was the hint. That hinted, uh, I believe, grab boost. Yeah, that, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. At that. Also, the, the grapple will do work here. Um... Pro tip, that, like, leg that was in front of Audra there, you can just stand that and climb up the room that way. Just space jump. Yeah, and also like from the lowest platform that you can, like can jump onto, you can actually grab the grapple point uh, that heads mm -hmm. to Spider Guardian's room to, or to Worker's Path, and that gets you up to the top level right yep. too. Oh no, that was supers. Sorry, that was not grab boost. All right, final bosses for Rayshai starting now with Emperoring. Uh, 
No double damage this time, so we will take uh, four supers here. Annihilator also a decent option. We do, we do take a laser, that may make the one cycle a little tighter here. The game visor cancels, we may still get it. Nice. Yeah. Easily done. Yeah, one, one laser's not terrible, uh, two is bad. But that thing looks like, I'm coming for you. Yeah. They can be so rude in this fight if they Somehow decide. made that work. That, that's nice. That's wild. Yeah, so far pretty clean for Cannibal. Uh, oh my two. god. Audra is making the play of a lifetime here. Gonna check Aerie. <laughs> Which would be so cool if it was there, but it's not. I'm so this sorry, be, Audra. I'm I. a main gyro check, too. Yeah, that too. I mean, there's just so few locations left that... Like I kind of morally, I'm full. I'm in full support of this play, but it's just we just know it's not. It's not it. Like the sank entrance. Well, yeah, unhinted stuff. Like what? Is, why? Why does it have to be sank entrance and unhinted? That's my question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Going back a couple seeds, like sank entrance is bad enough. Can you at least tell me to go there? <laughs> I think Randovania is sending a message. Uh huh. Also, good. Uh, solid emperoring from Raishi. Mm hmm. Will we get centered? Oh my god, Audra might just be getting double damage out of this. <laughs> I don't think we've seen double damage yet. Oh, true. We saw unlimited missiles in FTA, and then uh, Beam was somewhere, I think, for Prime. Dark Samus, two times damage? I'm gonna put a prime rando regular here on uh, on watch. The only thing that Aerie's gonna be d damaging doubly is uh, Krar's uh, Airy uh, support here. Boo. Otter <laughs> Otter wants to do Airy. Yeah. You gotta kill the Meclops. Yeah, the Meclops you wanna kill. I don't know. The the, the Bombus can sometimes drop them, but not always. Unfortunately, we do get centered here on Rage High side. Looks like we did a okay amount of damage beforehand, so faster than uh, the worst I think we're gonna see like a small little difference here <laughs> in, uh, in finish times. Oh, that orbs, <laughs> the orb was on, was coming for slug. Yeah, he's like, oh my goodness! Ah! Another save orb. Could this be the second? Yeah, slug is down to 250 energy. Honestly, it's still enough, but we start to get a little bit more cautious oh. here. Rayshai was caught typing something on the ground. <laughs> I wonder if if it's. I wonder how they are feeling. Like, oh my goodness, like. How come they haven't finished yet? That is G from Rayshai. Yeah, get your G's in. Damn, goes Dark Samus. Yeah, one forty-five. That is. Pretty dang quick for a CC seed. Nicely done. Yeah, well done. Just the essence left for uh, Team Orange Cats, and they have this in the bag. Yeah, and that'll be a perfect three and zero if this uh, this result stands, which is a very good start for uh, for a new uh, CGC team this year. Scare me with these orbs. Okay. <laughs> 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 Plasma ones in particular. Those ones hurt. Okay, Audra is on her way to screw attack. Very <laughs> bit by bit. Um, did we even see a phase on grounds check? Phase on grounds would be also an awful screw attack. 
Oh, uh, just yeah. getting it the usual way since you can't just screw attack over. <laughs> Especially like because that grapple was pretty cursed. It, like if a grapple's locking screw attack, it was a yeah. terrible place for grapple. I mean, oh yeah, <laughs> without question. I mean, it's not that. Okay, face on grounds with dark visor is not that bad, but mm -hmm. it's just, like it's uncommon. You usually have screw attack by that point. I remember the last year I played where, where phase on ground specifically blocked screw attack. Whether having it directly or having something leading to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it's just a case of last location. Or very close to it. You do hate to see it, but sometimes uh, that is it. That is GG's for Team Orange Cats. GG's. Get them both invited to an interview here. And it looks like Team Afi Tablet will probably opt to finish this up, especially with the photo finding the screw deck shortly here. Um, they are actually uh, still pretty close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just, it's a tough spot for Audra because, like, you want it. I'm sure Ardor wanted to push all of the hints, but like Elias was kind of, oh no. Oh, She's not going for it. it. Um, but like Elias oh. was kind of putting Otter on a clock where like Elias is going to be full clear soon. And if you don't get all those artifacts in time, then, then you're- uh, oh, Audra you was right there. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Hello, Slug. Hello. Welcome, congratulations. Thank you. GG's. GG's. I have never sweat so hard in my life in a sea. <laughs> yeah, I imagine you two probably thought it was going to be close. Um, uh, and it was decently close. Yeah. Um, Aether Tablet had both your numbers uh, for a decent bit on the early, on just the sheer number of checks done. But uh, that screw mm -hmm. attack has changed everything. Audraxis still has not found it. Uh, she actually oh. just went near... Sank entrance and uh, got the unlimited missiles in FTA and has turned around. So, yeah, that that screw attack yeah. was unhinted. I think Audra has read every yeah. hint of the game. Unhinted as, echoes screw attack. As soon as as soon as Raisha got Emerald, I was like, please go to entrance. Please, for the <laughs> love of God, go to entrance. Yeah, it worked. It, like the writing worked out well because yeah. Raisha had Dark Visor Seekers hadn't been in sank at all, whereas Audra actually dipped. A lot of upper sank out of logic early while um, before Torvus opened up because the seekers kind of came through late for Aether Tablet. Um, and so there's just like a lot less incentive. And then I think Otter kind of got trapped where Elias was going to be full clearing soon. So it's like Otter probably kind of felt some pressure to f grab all the artifacts rather than prioritizing hunting for the, the screw attack. And then that, and then unfortunately, just it's unhinted and nearly a last location at this point. Um, Raish, I didn't get an invite. Oh shoot! Uh, I can get an invite link. Hold on, just a second. Okay. Uh, let me get the link over. I was like wondering. <laughs> I was like, did they not get an invite? Hello, Rayshai. Welcome. GG's. Thank you. Thank you. GG. So, just to catch you up, uh, this is a pretty close race overall. Um, Team Aether Tablet had both your numbers for a uh, decent bit of the early game, but that sank at, that unhinted screw attack and sank entrance uh, changed everything. And uh, looks like we are seeing a DNF from, from Audra. So, welcome, Elias. GG's. Hello. I am Aether Tablet representative Elias here <laughs> to say GG to Team Orange Team Team Orange Cats. Yeah, GG. E yeah. yeah. I have bad news for Audra. Uh, screw attack wasn't sank entrance and it was unhinted. I did see that in the chat as soon as I pulled up a uh, stream. That was uh, an unfortunate thing. Yeah, I, I was like excited because I was like, "Oh, I'm just gonna finally get it," and then yeah, it didn't happen. But I've I've been there. It is a it is a frustrating experience to say the least. Yeah, no, it 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 sounds like it would be. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, it was it was an interesting one to watch. Um, it was Yul took a bit of an early lead with Audra finding the prime bombs and, and uh, her mm. own space jump earlier, and so that got you to your Varian ice, and so you were schmoovin um, from the very start mm -hmm. and you know, full clear really quickly, which was pretty impressive. Um, and then it was looking like okay, well maybe this TTS is going to be the downfall, you know, because. Uh, that's two extra go mode items that, that your team had that Team Orange Cats didn't. But then they mm -hmm. both turned up, and it was like, oh, okay, well, maybe. <laughs> so now maybe it swings back in your favor, but then unfortunately just the routing never took Audra to, to sink entrance, which is... Yeah. Incredible. All comes down to the routing. Mm -hmm. Especially at the end when you're just sort of scrambling for checks. Yeah. Trying to figure out where to go. I, I was sitting in Zoid for like four minutes, and I was like, wait. I can go to Magmore. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was actually a huge moment too. So like, um, yeah, because I got that yeah. boost right away. Yeah, Slugman got the boost very early, and and like the you you had your whole world open, Elias. And we're like, oh, is Elias gonna do Thardis? Because uh, we sure need that boost. Um, so that was that was yeah. good that you uh, did choose to be thorough. There was that's, a... that's what they call me, Thorough Elias. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was funny because like there were like you both had advantages in like si different departments. So uh, Audra found supers for Echoes like much earlier, and then I believe mm -hmm. um, yeah, we got we got yeah. them pretty quick. I was pretty close to the tree. Got I was ice like, beam. Oh, okay, well, I just... Yeah, you routed in Varia for that, and then which ended up being Ice Beam, which was kind of wild. But I was like, yeah, <laughs> maybe it's possible. Like I, I, th I didn't think it was the worst thing in the world going back for Burn Dome for Varia because Varia is pretty valuable. But... Yeah, like my my tank's count was just low enough to where I was just like, I don't feel like dipping in and out for various checks, especially if something ends up being something for me, which it did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just went ahead and got it again. And you kind of see that I I routed to a save station to go to Magmore without Varia, and I was like, well, actually, I should probably just pop yeah. over and get it again. Well, it's funny because like um, Orange Cats went for Lava Lake much earlier, but it was just an SDK, which didn't like it wasn't yeah. that impactful. And then you ended up routing it in anyways. So that was the one. Yeah. That was the one uh, hell run item I did aside from Magma Pool. Yeah, I I left Lava Lake with nine HP. Yeah, <laughs> you needed those two drops. <laughs> I didn't need the second one. I only needed the first one. Oh yeah. You, uh... It was close. Uh, it was close. Yeah. It was close. <laughs> I'll have to like double check. I I think I got the second one as I was going through the door, so I had nineteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you yeah. would have had like maybe one health if you didn't get that other drop. Yeah. Looks like it was a fun one to watch though for uh, until the end there. So. Yeah. Hopefully the, uh... of entertainment. No, I definitely lived up to the like. It was it was very interesting, just like as a matchup, you know, with the nine versus the ten overall seed. You know, you, you were very closely mm. yeah. performances well, that was... in the seeding rounds, and like, especially with you know it being a three versus a four seed, and only three teams are going to the the bracket stage. It had huge kind of playoff implications as well. So yeah, it was a really really fun match. Glad I got the chance to call it. Like the first. 10 minutes of that seed were insane because <laughs> you got like went from zero to like halfway to go mode also again more <laughs> arbor chamber yeah. Like, yeah yeah it's like okay <laughs> boots I, I might as well just check root cave i'm here you know it's i was it's... prepared to do arbor chamber without more for bombs but then i got plasma and it's like oh i guess i'm doing it normally <laughs> yep yeah it, it's uh <laughs> Seeing plasma there, it's like okay, X-ray could still be anywhere, you know, if this is plasma. But now that I have plasma, I'll just go check our chain. And seeing the morph ball, it's just like all right, it's somewhere soon because I haven't even been to Chozo yet. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the light and dark beam in Ruin Shrine was perfect. Honestly, it was wild because I'm pretty sure we played a race seed like a couple of matches ago where light and dark beam were in that room as well. <laughs> And so it's just like, it, all right, I feel well, like we're, it just, happens we're just a lot. stuff and going. <laughs> it happens a lot where one of them is there, but I think that's the first time I've seen both of them there. It feels nice. And then Echo suddenly has all of the options and it becomes... Yeah, terrible. that's... that's. 
you break open echoes too early it's just like well <laughs> I think I don't I think I had too much more I remember about the seed. But yeah, no, really well done. Be sure to give these runners a follow. This was a excellent race. Yeah, thanks for commentating. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, always we, always we a pleasure really to have a pleasure. Pleasure. combo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um I made the usual commentary blunder, so you get to enjoy those. Uh, Excellent. I will make we're watching this like, a high priority. Yeah, I look forward to it. I was like, oh, Elias is about to do upper dynamo. We haven't seen that yet. And then I just like look at like Ray Shai doing some echoes thing. And I'm like, I hadn't seen that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, what did put it on? Find the upper dynamo. Oh, I guess it was just an expansion. My bad. Um, yeah, that hit me hard with like light suit and uh, echo visor. Like I knew where it was hinted, like in that general area, but I I just was not noticing that you had uh um you had picked those two up so or that odd or sorry that race i did or i'll try one of the two did the i'm assuming every player the it's just one player in mqa was really clutch too yeah yeah if she wasn't gonna yeah. get the annihilator i was just gonna wall crawl from tte I, I saw like a little sparkle the first time walking into the room and then on after I was killing the Metroids I looked up and saw like one of the black dots turn white and I was like, Oh yeah, that's Annihilator. <laughs> yeah, I I saw the particle effects. I'm like, I either have Annihilator or Sonic Boom and they're just like, Well, I already got Sonic Boom. I'm like, Great. <laughs> <laughs> if there's more particle effects, it's Annihilator. Yeah. Pro tip. Pro tip. Oh yeah, I remember Shout out to that stupid amber location. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I, I was I not like, expecting that. I spent like five minutes of the seed criticizing Otter for not going to Torvis rather than the like Sank play, completely forgetting that we didn't have <laughs> <laughs> the amber. But like secretly, Torvis wasn't logic okay. if you just went that way and got the amber on the way. The amber saying was wrong. Screw yeah. <laughs> uh, tax tank entrance. Though. Uh, unhanted sank entrance twice Again. in days. Very rude, Radomania. It's just insane. Oh. I guess uh, consider sank entrance as part of your routing strategy, uh, racers. <laughs> yeah. I will I'll keep that I'm in sure mind. I'm sure going to have to. This is a lesson learned for me. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's rough. It's just rough. It's rough. Cause see, like, just the, just the casino. It's just... Yeah, I'm getting incredibly sick of these screw attack locations. <laughs> like, I feel like normally in the practices, it's always in TAS or something. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what happened. Like, we got into a... Mecca. I was like, all right. <laughs> Indovania has just lost all chill in the month of December here. I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, I blame the missile starts, honestly. I I've started to think that like maybe the missile starts make terrible morph balls more likely. Yeah, they um, they really do. Yeah, because yeah. it's always it, the beginning of every seed is echoes usually scrambling to find a morph ball for prime, and then mm -hmm. and then it starts to open up a bit. Yeah, but not this time. It's just at the top of Talon. <laughs> And thank you guys for commentating. Yeah, no, it was fun. Thanks for having always us. A, always a pleasure, Bash. You're welcome. Yeah, I was wondering when you and I were going to get together on the mic, Baja, so I'm, yeah. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I think we can start to close down here. We do have an ongoing match on Speed Gaming 4 right now. Ultimate Hope versus Dreadless Abomination. Is the uh, main Speed Gaming one still? It is not. Okay, never mind. But there is a match that just happened uh, around the same time. With uh, yeah. Partners of Prime versus Sunshine Spark, um, and I think the I, from what I'm hearing the uh, the earlier the first match of the day was a very close one, so I'm looking forward to checking that one out. Yeah, that was yeah. uh Slukal versus Wendy's Dollar Menu, <laughs> best team name of the tournament. You can find that on Speed Gaming 2's VODs. Um, and then yeah, the the race that's uh, 
currently underway, I think. Like you mentioned. Yeah, the Ultimate Hope one. Um, and we have a whole bunch of matches uh, this coming week. We've got at least one a day for, uh, for those of you uh, across Game Enjoyers. So, Daily uh, content. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so tomorrow at 12 Eastern, 12 p.m. Eastern, we got got uh, Best Seed Rollers versus Slucal. Um, Tuesday, we have an uh, evening match at uh, 7.30 Eastern. That's going to be my team, myself and Uncle Reggie, playing against uh, uh, not GFMC, not safe, what was it, uh, not good for Metroid consumption? Correct. Uh, Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, we got No Gain, All Pain versus Team Phaseite. Uh, we got two matches on Thursday at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, the morning match is going to be my team versus uh, Slucal. And then Fail Guys versus Partners in Prime will be happening later that evening. And then Friday, we got Baja's team versus Team Phaseite, which will be at noon Eastern on Friday. And then a whole bunch of weekend matches that I will take an hour to explain. <laughs> but uh, basically, morning to evening Saturday you'll and Sunday, like Sunday afternoon, uh, just, <laughs> there's a whole bunch going next weekend, so, uh, strap in. <laughs> yeah. Have fun. I, know. I gotta say, after, I, I hadn't seen too much of, uh, y'all racing before, uh, Rishai and Slugman, but I am very impressed and very scared for, for our matchup next weekend now. Yeah, I, <laughs> I had no idea, so I know what I'm in for for bracket. <laughs> yeah, this is actually our first, like, I never raced before this. Um, we only ever did casual races against each other in Prime. Mm -hmm. that's dope yeah i mean i mean what a start three no right um yeah. <laughs> no pressure yeah we're all counting on you. <laughs> now, there, now there's pressure to perform yeah you <laughs> saw dace and lucarius and like we can do that yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, dace yeah, and lucarius I mean, scare me oh they're yeah. very scary but uh yeah you'll get a crack at the uh, defending champs at some point this month as well oh uh, yeah like, in our group is as so well. cracked <laughs> groupie is, is scary. insane <laughs> Or CC, sorry. Yeah, Group yeah, C for crack. Group C is uh, underrated. <laughs> I I can definitely say that. Mm -hmm. I these were oh, sorry. very not fun. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's gonna get worse. It's all fun. Mm. It's all good. Excellent. I can't wait. <laughs> <sighs> well. Well, I got nothing else, so uh, if there's anything else you guys want to talk about, feel free to oh, I say whatever. I yeah, I think that's about all. Sounds I just good. wish wish I could have represented the color green better is all. <laughs> uh, we appreciate, I appreciate that. Um, okay. yeah, orange, orange, orange is winning the conflict. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, I gotta be careful. TGC might defect and join your team over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to do that too. I'm the orange represent uh, representative myself. Oh my goodness. All right, folks. Let us turn in for the evening. So yeah, be sure to head over Speed Gaming 4. We have another active race. And if not, we'll see you in the rest of the matches this week. And take care and see you next mission. Have a good rest of your weekend, everybody. Hope your week goes well. Get your holiday presents, everybody. Before it's too late. I think it might already friend. be a little bit too late. <laughs> it's too late <laughs> for me, that's for sure. All right. Goodbye, folks. Bye-bye.